Welcome to airgunweb.com, your home for honest, real-world airgun reviews where we bring you facts, not fluff. My name is Rick Usler, and I want to thank you for joining us today. For our second review this month, we are going to take a look at one of the most customizable air guns in the industry. It is the Crossman 2250 XT, which is basically a Crossman 2240 with a longer barrel and a skeleton stock. Now for this review, we will look at the rifle and its stock configuration. But I already have plans to look at other options and different upgrades for future reviews. The good folks over at Leapers have already agreed to send over a new scope and accessories to see how far we can push this little rifle. But for now, let's take a look at the 2250 XT just as it ships from Crossman. I've been a fan of Crossman's CO2 guns since I was a youngster and shot their Model 357 revolver. So when I saw the Crossman 2250 XT some time ago, I just had to get it on my review list. Now it may have taken me several years, but I'm finally happy to have the chance to do this review. The rifle ships with a front fiber optic sight, but does not have any rear sights. It would have been nice had they just put a nice muzzle brake on the front. The 2250 XT is basically the same as their 2240 pistol with the following changes. It has a longer barrel, a skeleton stock, and more importantly, uses Crossman's Air Source 88 gram CO2 rather than the 12 gram powerlets. You can see where they port the CO2 from the rear of the gun to the breech area. Crossman bundled a simple 4x32 scope with this rifle. Now the scope really needs to have an adjustable objective to be clear at 10 yards, the intended range for this air gun. The gun functions just like the 2240 and other of their target-oriented pistols. You open the bolt, which exposes the loading port. The pistol is not for those with larger hands, and it takes a bit of practice to be able to load the pellet quickly. When you close the bolt, the pistol is ready to fire. The trigger on the 2250 XT is rough to say the least. There's no first stage, just a clunky second stage that can fool you as to when the gun's going to fire. I don't expect this would be a big deal plinking in the backyard or even in the field, but from the bench, it gave me a bit of trouble. Now the Crossman 2250 XT is essentially a 22 caliber pistol that's been adapted, of course, with the longer barrel and the skeleton stock. And most importantly, it's been configured to use the larger 88 gram CO2 cartridges. These provide much better consistency as well as over 200 powerful shots per cartridge. Now, velocity was right about what you'd expect from a CO2 gun in 22. Now, temperature plays a big role with CO2 and our temperature was right about 67 degrees during our tests. Higher temps will yield higher velocities up to a point. So expect to see a little better velocity when things warm up. As always, we'll start with the RWS Hobbies in 22, which are 11.9 grain. We had a high of 589 feet per second, a low of 575 feet per second, an average of 584 feet per second, with an extreme spread of 14 feet per second and a standard deviation of only 4 feet per second. The maximum energy was 9.2 foot-pounds. Next, I went ahead and shot these RWS match grade wad cutters, and no, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of them, but they're 14 grain, and they actually did pretty well for accuracy. We had a high of 530 feet per second, a low of 521 feet per second, an average of 526 feet per second, with an extreme spread of 9 feet per second and a standard deviation of only 3 feet per second. The maximum energy from those pellets was 8.7 foot-pounds. Now our most accurate pellet happened to again be the Crossman Hunting pointed pellet which weighs right in about 14.3 grain. We had a high of 551 feet per second, a low of 543 feet per second, an average of 547 feet per second with an extreme spread of 8 feet per second and a standard deviation of only 2 feet per second. The maximum energy from that pellet was 9.6 foot-pounds. Now let's talk a little bit about how the gun operates and shoots. In 
In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about preparing, loading, shooting, and accuracy. While most CO2 guns use the smaller 12 gram powerlets, the Crossman 2250XT uses the larger 88 gram air source cartridges. These yield well over 200 consistent shots and are not nearly as sensitive as the smaller 12 gram powerlets when it comes to quick follow up shots and also temperature changes. To get your 2250XT ready to shoot, you first need to install the CO2. Now this particular cartridge is about half full, but I'll basically show you how the procedure works. The first thing I always do, and I think it's really, really uh, important and a good practice, is to go ahead and put a couple drops of Pelgin oil on the top of your cartridge. That way it will lubricate the inside of your gun and your gun will definitely operate it at peak efficiency. Now once you've got that done, you simply screw the cartridge into the receiver until it stops and you're basically ready to roll. Many people ask me if they can use some other form of lubricant. All I can tell you is that this stuff can really work magic. I don't know what's in it. Frankly, I don't care. I've seen it take a non-functioning gun that won't hold any air and bring it right back to life. It's well worth the $3, so just go ahead and get the real stuff. Now once your air source cartridge is installed, the rest is very simple. All you're going to do is simply pull back the bolt. Install your pellet. Take aim. And fire. We performed all our accuracy tests at 10 yards as this rifle is really designed for target shooting at that range. I sighted the rifle with these RWS match grade wad cutters and then just shot for groups with other pellets. The top performers were the Crossman Premier Hollow Points and the Crossman Field Hunting Pointed Pellets, with the pointed pellets giving us the best groups overall. I did not re-zero the scope for each pellet, so you will see how the different pellets change the point of impact. We'll start with those RWS Match Wad Cutters, then the Crossman Hollow Point Premiers, and finally the Crossman Pointed Pellets. Now each group easily fits inside a dime, even though it may look larger on the camera. So take a look at these groups. So here's my scorecard for the Crossman 2250 XT. We're going to go ahead and start with the cons. There were really three areas that I found that gave me some issues. One, the rifle just needs to be sturdier. There's noticeable barrel flex and this little ring here actually can get bumped and move and then that will throw your accuracy way off. The scope also needs to have an adjustable AO. At 10 yards it's very hard to get a very clear picture. Third and lastly, 
the trigger was pretty stiff and it certainly made it harder than it should be to get groups from the bench. Now here's what I liked about this rifle. It's extremely light and a whole lot of fun to shoot. The price is also excellent. Now it's currently only about $146 at Pyramid Air. The air source CO2 setup is far superior than the smaller 12 gram powerlets. And lastly, you just cannot overlook the fun factor. For something this light and this fun to consistently put five shots inside a dime is pretty darn good in my book. Remember, the shorter the barrel and the gun, the more difficult it is to shoot accurately. So let's put all this together with our final summary. Even with a few shortcomings, the Crossman 2250 XT is a great little air gun and the price is certainly right. You get well over 200 shots from one air source cartridge, which gives you exceptional consistency. I personally found the accuracy very acceptable given the out-of-the-box product. But I'm really looking forward to doing more with this over the next several months. The very first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and upgrade the scope to this Leapers 3 to 9 by 32 AOMD scope. Then we'll see how things go from there. I want to take just a moment and thank all the folks at Pyramid Air for sending us this rifle and for sponsoring this review. I also want to thank the folks at Leapers for providing the accessories for the upcoming segments on this rifle, including this new scope. When you're looking for your next air rifle or your next batch of supplies, please point your browser to www.pyramidair.com or give them a call at 1-888-262-4867. Now that's 1-888-262-4867. When you do purchase your next rifle, be sure to try the 10 for 10 service. The gun techs at Pyramid Air will unpack and test your air gun before it leaves the warehouse, and this ensures that you get a good working product every time. Until next time, this is Rick Utzler with airgunweb.com. Remember, when you're looking for honest, real-world air gun reviews, think Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks again for watching.